Patrick Anthony Huber's girlfriend Hannah Giddings spoke to about two dozen community activists today, all of whom who say the verdict should mark a new beginning in Kenosha. Anthony and Jojo! Anthony and Jojo! I am, like I said, not surprised at what happened here today, but I am heartbroken. A nightmare 15 months for Hannah Giddings, the girlfriend of Anthony Huber, ends Friday in heartbreak. Huber died during the August 2020 unrest after Kyle Rittenhouse shot him. I miss Anthony every single day. Every day I wish that I could come home to him and unload some of this weight that's on my shoulders, but I can't because he's dead. And now this system is telling me that nobody needs to answer for that. And I have a problem with that. Rittenhouse walks free after a jury found him not guilty. While it wasn't the verdict victims' families hoped for, activists say it's a new beginning. So what we're here today for is a very simple call. We want to reimagine what our community looks like. Prayers and food paired with friends and music kicked off an event for healing. We need to heal. And when we say heal, we don't mean going back to the status quo because we saw where that got us. We mean improving. They say they hope to make the verdict a starting point to improve the criminal justice system, schooling, housing, and other issues in Kenosha. I just want the city of Kenosha to understand, KPD to understand, that nobody here is ever going to stop. And Giddings also said she feels like she's shown empathy toward the other side, but does not feel that that has been reciprocated. Patrick.